Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are doing great and having a marvelous Monday thus far. And so in this video, I will be taking you through what is expected as we progress throughout today and into tomorrow, as well as the possibility for that rainfall increase uh, as we're going to be heading uh, through this week. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, and so we are returning to this infrared satellite imagery here off the North Atlantic, and uh, we can see that there's a lot going on across different areas. So uh, where we see all of that shower and thunderstorm activity northeast of the Lesser Antilles, that is where we have the remnants of Cindy. So uh, Cindy is no more. It's lost its tropical cyclone characteristics and is just an open trough out there. However, there is that chance that it could still regenerate uh, as it makes its way into the vicinity of Bermuda. So it might bring some uh, strong winds, some rough seas, maybe a bit of heavy rainfall as well. So if you're in Bermuda, please be on the lookout for that and eventually could make its way into Atlantic Canada, bring in impacts as well. But let us take a closer look at the tropical Atlantic. And here we can see this stream of activity coming from Africa all the way to uh, just north of northeastern South America. So there we have a broad area of showers and thunderstorms and a tropical wave is just behind all of that activity activity. So uh, this is likely going to be helping to induce rainfall across sections of the Lesser Antilles and when that tropical wave makes its way into the area late tomorrow going to Wednesday it is likely to help uh, induce a lot more rainfall as well. So some of that rainfall can be very heavy and persistent at times hence resulting in uh, flooding even minor flooding across some areas and so I want you to all uh, be aware of that. And above all this stream of activity here there is a lot of dry air from that Saharan area so that is where we're not seeing much within this general area here but south of it is where we have all of that instability all that moisture helping to induce these showers and thunderstorms now let's go on to northern South America and here we can see that this morning there's a lot of activity across some sections of Venezuela uh, there was some activity across Guyana but that is dissipating right now and across parts of northern Colombia we see a lot of showers and thunderstorms also extended into parts of of Panama. So as we're going to be heading to later today, though, it is likely that we're going to be seeing a lot more uh, showers and thunderstorms developing across different uh, parts of these uh, various territories here. So uh, be on the lookout for that, guys. Again, in the event of any heavy rainfall, please do not take any unnecessary risks and take unnecessary precautions. And now heading to the general Caribbean region here, we see all this shower and thunderstorm activity. Now, this is in association with the tropical wave, which uh, is further in association with the remnants of Brett. So all the shower and thunderstorm activity is uh, going to continue to affect sections of Honduras and Nicaragua as well as Costa Rica and Panama as we're going to be heading throughout today. Overall there is quite a bit of moisture across parts of the Caribbean right now so uh, there is certainly going to be that possibility for uh, afternoon showers and thunderstorms across many areas. Cuba, uh, maybe even the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico. So I'll be taking you guys to the rainfall maps very shortly but uh, for most other areas aside from those experiencing showers and thunderstorms right now it's pretty calm and quiet nothing too much happening and so now uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS simulated infrared satellite imagery. So this is what the satellite could look like as we head into the next couple of days. So uh, there we have the forecast time. Now as you're going to be heading into uh, tomorrow and also going into Wednesday, there we see all of that activity that GFS is expecting across the Eastern Caribbean. So that tropical wave is going to be uh, moving in. There will be lots of instability and hence uh, a pretty good chance of seeing the development of lots of showers and our thunderstorm activity as well and uh, some models were even hinting at something possibly developing from that tropical wave but that doesn't seem very likely and they're not really hopping onto it anymore but of course I'll continue to monitor all that is happening for you guys and uh, the model is also showing let's go back over this run the model is also showing a lot of rainfall over in parts of Central America so uh, lots of rainfall uh, for the east and the west as you're going to be heading into the uh, early to middle part of this week. And again, guys, I reiterate to not take any unnecessary risks and to take all necessary precautions in the event of heavy rainfall. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what uh, the models are expecting in terms of the rainfall. 
And so we're starting out with the GFS map. And as this becomes more colorful, the rainfall expected is much higher. And so uh, let's see what the model is showing. This goes out to tomorrow morning. And uh, we can see here that loss of rainfall activity is expected indeed across parts of the Lesser Antilles going to the Windward Islands. Uh, portions of northern south america of course and over into central america uh with all countries being impacted with some rainfall activity we see some of those higher totals uh across some spots of nicaragua as well as parts of el salvador even going down to parts of uh, costa rica and panama so lots of rainfall is expected as we're going to be heading throughout today and we see less totals uh, for some other areas such as cuba the cayman islands jamaica going over to hispaniola the bahamas South Florida, also for uh, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and it's going from Anguilla southward to Martinique thereabouts. But uh, this is just what the GFS is showing. Unfortunately for the ABC Islands, uh, much rainfall isn't on the horizon for you guys. Going on to the ICON model here. Now, ICON is expecting somewhat of a similar story. Most of that rainfall, a lot of that rainfall seen over into sections of Central America. Some areas will have uh, a lot higher totals than others. Uh, so lots of rainfall expected over there and also for the Windward Islands, inclusive of Barbados and uh, Trinidad and Tobago. And uh, as we head further north into to the rest of the Lesser Antilles, we're seeing here that the model is expecting less rainfall. Also, a similar story for most of the other uh, Northern Caribbean islands going from uh, the Virgin Islands all the way to Cuba. And then heading on to the Euro model, we see this consistency. Central America, Northern South America, and the Southeastern Caribbean expected to receive the most rainfall. The model showing a bit more rainfall for areas such as Jamaica. So if you're going out today, uh, please ensure to carry your umbrellas just in case uh, there is a downpour in your area. So that is what is anticipated. And I will continue to track all that is happening and keep you guys posted. So stay tuned for a detailed video this evening. And that is pretty much it for right now. So I hope that you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will respond as best and as soon as I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.